Uh, Jesse's told me to keep this speech under 30 minutes, so I'm going to try my hardest. I remember when Jess first came to me and said, what do you think about me going on a date with Kobe, who is a bit older? She said, everyone I've spoken to has disapproved of it. And I looked at her and I said, I think it's good because I know my daughter. She's a great judge of character. And then the next day, Kobe came and picked up Jess. He came in and met me. Now, I had my speech ready, the typical dad speech, which involved machetes, axes, <laughs> digging holes in the backyard and things like this. I looked at him. I shook his hand and I just knew straight away he's the right person. I just knew. I never said I didn't have a concern in the world. They arrived home at 9pm exactly on time. Do you remember? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the second time I met Kobe, however, was questionable. We went to a restaurant. Went to a restaurant. On the way there, a female friend of mine said, install Snapchat so we can communicate, right? And I didn't even know what this app was. Kobe explained to me what it is. This is, you know, what you do. Send photos and all this sort of stuff. And we sat down at the restaurant. It was Kobe, Jesse, Jeremy and I. And we just finished the main course. And my friend sent me a picture of her dinner, all right? And I said, you know, what am I meant to do with this? And Kobe leaned over and goes, you know, now you know, snap your banana and send it back to her. This is, this is how you get the ball rolling. This is how things happening. And I said, and I said wait up, wait up, M mate. Like, where I come from, we do not do this sort of thing, all right? And I was in shock, and what, what I forgot is I ordered fried banana for dessert, and he was simply talking about my dessert on the table, all right? He's in the defensive mode right now. Yeah, so he was just trying to help me. So it was, it was fine. Now, on the way out of the restaurant, now it's a long night and we're very, very tired, and the restaurant was very busy. We, we lined up for ages to get to the counter, and there's about 20 people behind us. And then Jesse starts comment, commenting to the, the, the girl behind the counter serving. She's saying, you know, oh, your, your nails are just lovely. Like, did you get them done today? Are you going out? And then she's commenting, your hair is absolutely gorgeous. And Jeremy and I are just looking at each other, rolling our eyes, saying, seriously, Jess, like, do you have to do this now, right? So we're just waiting, waiting, waiting for this conversation to happen. And then I pay, and as we walk out, I say, Jess, why did you need to do this? Why did you need to do this interaction right now? And she says to me, can't you tell this girl was so upset? She's obviously having a bad day, and it only took me one minute, and she's smiling, right? She's happy. She said, that's all it takes. So that Kobe, Kobe is who you just married, right? She would consider everyone. I see how you treat my daughter. It's beautiful. You treat her with respect. You always look after her. You ask her, would you like to try my food? Are you OK? You open doors for her. You allow her to walk through first. That sort of respect is hard to find in a person. It comes from good parenting. I know that. It's, uh, it's very, very rare. I hope one day Jess can afford a jumper so that she's not constantly wearing yours. <laughs> I think you both are a match made in heaven.
and I don't think you'll ever part. My advice to you, live with honour and integrity. Be open and honest. Communicate. Respect each other. Be patient with each other. And you'll live a very, very happy life. I love you both. And I know I'll love you forever and you'll be together forever.